Miss Laney from laneyslearninglane.com. I'm so excited to bring to you my weekly tips, tricks, and learning tools to help you with homework, communication, emotional, and behavioral challenges you may be having with your child. This week I'm going to talk about math and specifically word problems surrounding math. I know at times it can be really hard for some of your children to understand word problems. I know that is one of the biggest um, complaints I have from parents, not complaints, but concerns about their child having um, struggles with word problems. So here's my suggestion. First of all, here's an, an example of a story problem or a word problem. And obviously it says there are two boys, each boy has five candies. How many candies do both boys have? So the first thing that every child should do is circle the information that they need to know. So for example, we need to know about the two boys, we need to know that there's five candies. So obviously looking at this problem, you and I know that it's a multiplication problem, but for a child, especially a child who's more of a right brain learner, sees pictures in their mind, the, the best way for them to understand it is to draw what the question is asking. So first thing I would suggest is have them draw the two boys. Here's boy number one, here's boy number two. And we'll give them spiky purple hair. Then the next question is, there are two boys. Each boy has five candies. So you would give each boy five candies. So now we're turning this whole um, question into a picture. So now your children will go, oh, two times each of them have five equals total amount of ten pieces of candy. This is just an, the most amazing um, strategy to use with word problems, and you can use this for any age, from the little kids, you know, three apples plus two apples, you know, how many apples are there all together, draw the apples, a multiplication, all the way up to when you get into those, those problems in high school, you know, an airplane starts in New York and then travels to Chicago, you know, and then back to another place. If they draw all this and label everything, whatever the distance is, it really helps their mind see the word problem. So, I hope this was helpful. Draw story problems, word problems, really, really, really important. Um, I want to thank you for watching uh, my video on word problems, and I want to also remind the people that live in the East Bay, I have a workshop coming up, a free workshop, April 30th in Walnut Creek at the Walnut Creek Library, to give you a whole bunch of more information about strategies to use for the different types of learners. Um, I wish you a great day, and um, I look forward to chatting with you next week.